Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the multiplication as scaling video. And we're going to go through different multiplication problems and see how the numbers and fractions affect our answers in different types of multiplication problems. So let's jump right in to number one. So for number one, we have eight times a half. So we're going to take a look and see what that half does to our eight. So we're multiplying by something less than one. And you can see at the top of your screen, we need to think greater than one, equal to one, or less than one. So eight times a half. And we know a half is less than one. So when we multiply by something that's less than a whole, we're actually going to drag this eight down. We usually or normally think that our answer is going to increase in value when we multiply. That's only true if you multiply by something greater than one. So let's take a look at eight times two, right? We're multiplying by something greater than a whole. So our answer is going to be 16. We increased the value um, from what we started with. We started with an eight times two and we went up to 16. Now, if we multiply by something equal to one, we get the same answer, right? We get equal to eight. And let's go back to number one. We're multiplying by something less than a whole so eight times a half equals four. So this eight is greater, right? Eight times a half is less than eight. So let's take a look at number two. So we have a three on both sides. We're multiplying this three on the left-hand side by 10 sixths. We have an improper fraction. So we need to think, is that fraction greater than one equal to one or less than one. And that will tell you if it's going to raise the value of our answer there for multiplying it by three. Well, this fraction here, 10 over six, is greater than one whole. It actually equals one and four sixths or one and two thirds if we were to simplify it. So this side, is going to give us an answer greater than three. 10 sixths times three is greater than three. So we're just thinking about the original multiplication problem and seeing if it's going to increase our answer in value or bring the value down. So let's take a look at number three. We have a two on each side. So on the left side, we have two times three fifths. So we need to think, is that three fifths greater than a whole? So is it going to raise the value of that two? Is it equal to one and keep the value the same? Or is three fifths less than one and is going to drag the value of this two down? Well, three fifths is less than one so two times three fifths is going to give us an answer that's less than two. Number four, one and two sevenths times four. So we need to see which side is greater or maybe both sides are equal. So we have a four on each side. On the left hand side, let's see what we're multiplying by. We're multiplying by one and two sevenths. So that is something that's greater than a whole. So it's going to bring the value of that four up. So this side is greater. One and two sevenths times four is going to give us an answer that is greater than four. Number five, we have two and four sixths on each side. So let's look at the left-hand side. We're multiplying by seven sevenths. So we have the same number numerator, same number denominator. Seven sevenths actually equals one whole. So we're multiplying two and four sixths by a whole. So one times two and four sixths is going to be equal to two and four sixths. 
number six. We have a 12 on each side. And let's see what we're doing on the left-hand side. So we're multiplying 12 by 8 sevenths. 8 sevenths is actually equal to 1 and 1 seventh. It's a little bit more than a whole, but it is still greater than a whole. So 12 times 8 sevenths is greater than 12. It's going to give an answer that's greater than 12. So multiplication in, as scaling is taking a look at that multiplication problem and seeing if you're multiplying by something that's greater than one, equal to one, or less than one, and seeing how that is affecting your answer. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, peace.